Good morning. I'm Ann Champion, pastor at Fairbury United Methodist Church for another couple of weeks. And this will be my last Tuesday reflection, at least for now. I will be on vacation next week and the following week I will be busy unpacking at my new home as pastor at Orion, Illinois. I want to backtrack a little on this journey to a new appointment. Please excuse repetition of things that you might already know. I found out the week before Palm Sunday that I would be moving. It was several day or days before I learned where. Now, if you're a United Methodist pastor in that situation, your mind begins running around the possibilities of where you might be going. Will you be farther away from family or closer to family? Will it be a multiple point charge or a single church and all the different things that could be possible in a new appointment? The good news in the midst of the grieving that started the minute I knew I was going to be leaving Fairbury is that I'm moving to a town, I know to some degree, and it's only 20 minutes or so from all the family I still have living in Moline. That's two brothers and their wives and two nephews and their families, including three great nieces and a great nephew. And it puts me three hours closer to the other two nephews and another great niece. That was the good news that came in the midst of the chaos of moving in a pandemic. I later found out that I was part of a long chain of moves and there was difficulty getting all the moving dates coordinated. I was asked if I would be willing to have my stuff go into storage for a time so that the moves behind me could progress. I never had to do this before, but since I knew there would be a place for me to stay without going to a hotel for an indefinite amount of time, I agreed to do that. Again, good things in the midst of grieving. Then my mind got kind of stuck. How do you say goodbye to a church family and colleagues when there were no in-person events happening? God led me to start calling through our church directory to say farewell while checking in on how everyone was doing. That will continue through the next week or so as I try to finish all those contacts. It seemed kind of sad at first. And believe me, I love those going away receptions, but it has actually been a blessing. I have been able to spend one-on-one -on -one time with so many folks that might have just had a quick, good luck, good to know you, glad, going to miss you, contact otherwise. The blessings just keep going on. Then last week, the Administrative Council decided to do outdoor worship for at least the rest of June as we begin gathering in small groupings. It was a little disorienting for some things I had planned would have to change with no slideshow available. But everyone who has helped prepare and present worship since March 22nd, when we went to all virtual service, jumped right in to do all the work to, of figuring out how to do this, leaving me with just the message to prepare. Blessing upon blessing. As I was driving to Moline yesterday after the movers completed their work, the phrase, a wandering Aramean, kept coming to mind. It is found in Deuteronomy 26.5. It is a phrase to be used when presenting thank offerings to God when the Israelites take possession of the land promised to Abraham and now waiting for those wandering in the wilderness 40 years after leaving Egypt and slavery behind. The full phrase is, a wandering Aramean was my ancestor. The setting is certainly not the same for me. But after 34 years of wandering where God leads me in ministry, I feel a little bit like that wandering Aramean ancestor. This is my 10th move in 34 years of ministry. The shortest stay was one year and the longest was eight. I have been in Fairbury for four years, which is about the average. Every place is still in my heart and the people I've met have all been part of my own faith journey. Seeds were planted that I did not get to see mature. I saw maturity brought by seeds planted long before my time in place. We are all on a journey, even if we've never, ever moved from the town where we were born. Many have moved far more frequently than I. We all have a story. Most of all, we are all blessed because God pours so much love into our hearts and God sent Jesus to die for our sins. I have blessing upon blessing in my life. One of the blessings is a gift of memory. Even though I've left Fairbury, my memories are with me. Even though my stuff has left the parsonage, 
I will worship with you again this weekend. Even though moving during a pandemic has brought some strange twists to the usual routine of winding up ministry in one place and gearing up for ministry in another, it has been a blessing to be with the Fairbury United Methodist Church for these four years. And I know it will be a blessing to be with the Orion United Methodist Church for the coming years. I again turn to the Psalms. Today I turn to Psalm 139 which is given the heading, The Inescapable God, in the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. Here are the first 14 verses. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light around me become night, even the darkness is not dark to you, the night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. That I know very well. I may be a wanderer moving from town to town. But no matter where I go, God is there. And God gives blessing upon blessing. Let us pray. Loving God, as we continue through our day, remind us of the blessings we have. Help us to look upon a current situation of hurt, pain, loneliness, insecurity, or change and see your hand working for good. Make us mindful of your continued presence no matter where we may go or where people we love and care about may go. We are so thankful that there's no way to escape you, even if we might sometimes want to try. Help us see that part of our life path that we need to see and help us let go of the desire to know it all now. Some of the greatest joys we experience are things that grow and blossom across a long period of time. Most of all, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who died for our sins. In his name we pray. Amen.